We are back now with a local firefighter dealing with personal tragedy. We first brought you this story on Saturday. A fire, ironically enough, destroyed his home on Candlewood Drive in Virginia Beach. Tonight, that firefighter has some important lessons that we can all learn from. Tenor News Science Asia Tolliver has his story. Asia? Well, it's the call you never expect as a firefighter. Your home is going up in flames. But Master Firefighter Aaron Howard says the tragedy brought out the good he already knew was there. Master Firefighter Aaron Howard has been fighting flames with the Virginia Beach Fire Department for over a decade. But even his 15 years of experience couldn't have prepared him for the fire that happened at this home off Candlewood Drive Saturday night. I knew it was bad when the, the ladder had it stick up and it was flowing water. Smoke filled the sky and firefighters worked to put out the bursting flames from the roof. As Howard glanced up at the fire, he knew it was going to be the hardest one he'd ever dealt with. Because this time, he wasn't suited up to fight it. He was staring in awe as parts of his home turned to ash. It was surreal to be standing in the driveway and, um, you know, without turnout gear. And I've seen a lot of fires and a lot of times people are sitting in their car, got a blanket on, a cup of coffee. Well, then that was me. Howard says his mom first called him about the fire and he didn't believe it until he heard it come over the scanner at the station. Fortunately, his parents and dog who were home at the time managed to get out safely. And even though the house is pretty much a complete loss, the community support has certainly cushioned the blow. Friends, families, neighbors, strangers. I've had a few people just stop in the driveway. Hey, here's a gift card. He says this ironic disaster has made him a better firefighter. I used to think that Okay, you have a tragedy and that makes people better, but I'm, I think I've been thinking about that and I think, you know, a tragedy just lets other people see the good that's already there. Wow. Howard believes the fire started with the furnace in his garage, but is still waiting for the official report to know the cause. Now, just to give you an idea of how the community support has really been overwhelming, the GoFundMe page for Howard's family has raised over $20,000. If you're interested in donating, though, you can find the link on wavy.com. I'm Aisha Tolliver, tonight on your side.